Dan, mea culpa. Last time you were on, you were saying higher oil prices, and I was like, Dan, yeah. you're crazy <laughs> because shale producers are going to come back. They're hedging like crazy, and oil prices will go lower, and they haven't. Why do you think it's so sticky? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, I mean, this is really going to be an interesting earnings season because we want to see what the oil companies are going to do. This is the first time we've seen oil prices sustain themselves above $50, not for a very long period of time. Remember, we were under 50 as, as late as November of last year, so they're having a lot of time at decent prices. So there is some cash flow. So we've got to figure out what's going to go on with the oil companies. And what all the analysts are counting on and why they're not coming to me and where Goldman is now starting to see that they're coming is because they imagine the oil companies are going to make the same exact mistakes they made circa 2013, 2014. That is, take all that free cash flow and put it into CapEx. Try and develop as much production as they can, as quickly as they can, on any barrel that has any kind of break even at $50 or below. And I don't think that's going to happen. And I also don't think they're going to take all their money and put it into share buybacks. I think they're going to finally do some smart things, keep production at a steady growth rate, but nothing that, that, that blasts out. Again, continue to do de deleverage de de as they've been doing over the course of the last three years and try to make of this um, oil process, this new renaissance in oil, the long-term gains that they expected them to be um, prior to the bust in 2014. They've waited a long time for this moment, and I'm of the opinion that they're not going to blow it this year. And I think all the other analysts think that they will.